Okay, hello everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing? Hope that you are doing good, and I want to say it's Sunday. That's right, guys. It is Sunday, and welcome to the third straight and final full day. Okay. Um, the final full day of Smash Ultimate coverage. Okay, so if you're not aware of what's been going on, maybe you haven't been around for a while. Uh, the fa past few days have been pretty crazy. Me covering Super Smash Brothers Ultimate uh, on the Switch. It's been a lot of fun. This game, much like the the Brawl, I believe was the last one on the Wii, that had a full fledged tons of single player content. Um, this game has a ton as well. A full fledged adventure mode. With a story, although it is a bare bones story, but still a story tied to it with cool side content, upgrades, challenges, unlocking of characters. Then, of course, a robust online mode. <clears throat> the game has a ridiculous amount of content, okay? Um, and not only have people been very much enjoying my coverage of the game, but I've been actually able to monetize the videos on YouTube for the first time. I've been able to monetize Nintendo videos in two years. Uh, pretty damned awesome, okay? So all that being said... It's been a great experience. You guys have been coming out for the streams for the past two days. Every Smash stream I've done has had good attendance. You guys have been supportive during said streams. Okay. And I have absolutely enjoyed my time with the game. <laughs> now, that being said, this is the third straight day that I'm playing Smash Ultimate. I understand there's going to be people out there who are going to get bored. All right. You're going to get tired of me doing the same damn thing every day. I get that. Okay. Um... And I'll be totally honest with you, even though I like the game, probably if I wasn't getting a break from it tomorrow during my day off, I probably also would be getting bored. I am the kind of guy that likes to do a variety of content. I don't like to do the same exact thing every single damn day. Um, as they say, oh, wow, I was just about to say it and then got it for sale in stream chat. Just said variety is the spice of life. That's correct. Variety is the spice of life. Even though you may love what I've been doing here, um, you might just get bored of it because it's the same thing every day, right? And I don't want that to happen. So allow me to explain to you guys the schedule for the week. I think you're going to like what I have in store, all right? Because there's a variety of stuff coming up, and it's going to take us into the end of the year, okay? And it's going to be fun stuff coming up. So what can you expect? Well, today, the final full day of Smash Ultimate, meaning a double streaming day. And yes, if you guys are not aware... Um, it is Sunday, and I am going to do a full day of streaming. I almost never do. Usually on Sundays, I only do one stream. Today, I am going all out, and I'm doing two streams. So that way, we get our absolute maximum dosage of Smash Brothers before I take my day off tomorrow, okay? So today's main stream, once again, we'll be continuing on in adventure mode of Smash Brothers Ultimate. I love the mode, even though it can be incredibly unfair and frustrating, I, I like the mode. I like the, the open world exploration of this cool map. I like that you collect all these spirits that are from various game franchises and that you do these challenge maps with, with uh, assist trophies and all kinds of zany challenges. I like unlocking the characters. And in fact, today I'm going to use all new characters. I'm not going to use any characters that I've used previously in the game. I'm going to go with characters that I just unlocked yesterday and didn't play with yet um, to see how I like them, okay? I really do like the adventure mode. So, this will be a huge um, stream. Probably four or five hours again. Yesterday I did five hours. Probably about the same thing today, okay? Um, of the adventure mode. Now, for those who aren't aware, the adventure mode is about 20 hours long. So, I'm already, at this point, about 13 hours into it, I believe. No, I'll take that back. Nine hours into it. After today, I'll be around 13 hours into it. So it looks like I may even have to do two more sessions of this to finish it up, if it is as long as people have reported, okay? <clears throat> but we'll see. You know, as we continue on, we'll see. All right? So that's today. So this will be fun. Variety of characters, cool environments, uh, you know, tons of support characters that are going to be from various franchises. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. It's going to be a good stream. Then tonight, on my late night stream, Okay, will be more multiplayer, and yet again, just like it was the last two days, I'm going to be playing with characters who I play with today in the adventure mode, and I unlock in the adventure mode that I like. Maybe I'll play some characters in adventure mode that I won't like so much, and maybe I'll play some that I do like a lot, 
And depending on what I find out today, that'll determine who I play with tonight in multiplayer. Okay? So that's the deal. Tonight around 6.37 p.m. I'll be starting up my nighttime multiplayer stream of around 2 to 3 hours of multiplayer. And that'll be a full day of Smash Ultimate. Now tomorrow I'm off from streaming. Okay? So tomorrow no new streaming. Okay? But, um... As you know, I've done so much new content this last week. I'm sure many of you will be able to catch up on DSP Gaming on YouTube. That's where I archive all my content. So I hope you guys will check that out. Um, you know, uh, when you get a chance. Okay, tomorrow, when I'm not here. Then I'll be back on Tuesday. And yes, I will be continuing on with Smash on Tuesday. But for variety's sake, what I'm going to do is play Smash on the first stream and then different stuff on the late night streams, okay? So what can you expect this Tuesday... It'll be more Smash Adventure Mode um, on the mainstream, unlocking more characters and trying to get as far in as I can. And then Tuesday night will be the conclusion of Assassin's Creed Ultimate, finally. Now, I believe I'm just about to hit level 44, but I only have a couple story missions left. But in order to see the final super boss of the game, Medusa, apparently you need to hit level 50. Um, so what I probably will do in those two hours is finish up the story... See how what level I've gotten, and then maybe see if I can find a way to level up more. And see if I can at least see what Medusa is. I doubt I'm going to beat her, but at least to see what the boss is. Because apparently when you kill Medusa, that's the true ending of the game. But you need to grind a lot in order to be able to do it, which is kind of annoying. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But that's going to be at least the story-based conclusion of the game Tuesday night. Alright. Um, then, on Wednesday... My main gameplay stream will be Smash Multiplayer. So I'm actually going to be doing a 4 plus hour stream of multiplayer of Smash. What I'm hoping at that point is between today and, and Tuesday, I'll have unlocked a bunch more characters to try online. Okay? And so that will be a major multiplayer stream of Smash on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, or excuse me, Tuesday, or Wednesday night, because Wednesday is going to be the multiplayer stream. Wednesday night, I'm debating. I could do one or the other, so listen up to the options. I can either bring back... Um, Black Ops 4 Blackout, which is the Battle Royal, you know, which I've been doing on and off. I didn't do it this week, but I could do it this coming week, okay? Or I could do Minecraft. I could do a nighttime chill stream of Minecraft, which I promised you guys I would do during the, the Indies Marathon this last week, and I definitely want to do. So maybe Wednesday night will be Minecraft. We'll see. Then on Thursday... It may be more Smash on the mainstream. It may not be. What I want to see is, has all the hype for Smash finally worn out after a week? Will people finally kind of die down and not really care about Smash anymore? Or will you guys love Smash and want to see more? And depending on, directly on that, we'll determine what Thursday's mainstream is. It may be more Smash. It may not. All right. If it's not, I have many options. I could uh, maybe do some Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Or I can start up my playthrough of Final Fantasy 4, which I am going to begin shortly. <laughs> Okay, we'll see, but that, I, I'm going to start that up at some point soon. So that could be as early as Thursday. Then what I'm thinking is Thursday night, do whatever I didn't do on Wednesday. So if I played Minecraft on Wednesday, then it's then it's Blackout or vice versa. Um, <clears throat> then on Friday, again, we could play it by ear. Um, more, do we want more Smash or do you want me to do Final Fantasy IV? We'll see. Um, same thing Friday night, you know, again, playing it by ear. Um, do I want to do Blackout? Do I want to do Minecraft? Do I want to do something else, right? Maybe I want to do Smash Multiplayer. We'll see. And then on Saturday, guys, this is a big announcement. Next Saturday. So this will be Saturday the... Oh, uh, man. The 15th? Yes. Saturday the 15th of December. I am going to be doing my first cooperative stream of Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. I'm going to team up with at least three other people. I think the posse is four people. We're going to be riding out and doing the cooperative story-based missions for a while, okay, to see what those are, and I'm going to be trying Suicide Kings. Now, I know <laughs> it's been a while. I don't know if people have been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 online enough to be find out a lot uh, of stuff where places where we can do uh, Suicide Kings, but if you are interested, please, you know, let me know. Already, I've got a bunch of people who said they're interested, but already someone said they can't do it. Because of the date that I'm looking to do it. Um, so that's going to be at the 15th, December 15th. We ride again. 
through the Old West. We're going to see how this goes. I'm, I'm, I'm giving priority to moderators first. I know I have one or two of my moderators that are interested in doing it, but I don't know if they're available that day. And then after that, people will get priority after that. Some people have already messaged me, so they're going to get priority. I'll let you guys know how it goes. And by the way, if this is successful, if this is a fun cooperative stream where we do a bunch of fun stories to co-op and then we ride out and do some Suicide Kings and it's really fun... I'm willing to do this as an ongoing thing with various people, but only if it works. Like, if I do this stream and it's boring and everyone complains it sucks, then I'm probably not going to do it again. Okay? So we'll see how it goes. So that's pretty much it for the next week. You know, that's what I'm planning. Um, After that, it's going to be various things. Probably more ongoing Smash coverage, the continuation of, of you know, and, and Final Fantasy IV going on there. More Black Ops. Um... More Red Dead. And then, depending on how all that stuff goes, okay, we'll see what else we want to do before Christmas comes. Because I have three Christmas events coming up. Um, uh, so uh, I believe it's going to be three days in a row. Maybe not. But I'm thinking it may be uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Or uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Depending. But those three days before Christmas, one day is going to be my Wrestling Fantasy Sims Marathon. One's going to be my my holiday gaming marathon, and one is going to be my, my Christmas Eve podcast. So three special Christmas events coming up for all of you. Whew. It's going to be a great month, guys. This is a great month of content. I'm actually pleased because a lot of the times in December, things slow down to a crawl and end up being pretty boring. But this month, because of the release of Smash, also because of all the other stuff that I have to balance stuff out, it looks like this month may be quite entertaining and pretty good. So... I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited, too, for what's coming up, okay? Fair enough? All right. There you go. That's what you can expect, guys. Um, Outside of all that, I don't... I'm trying to think if I have anything else major to really talk about today, and, I, you know, nothing's really coming to mind. Um, You know, great stuff the past few days. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Smash coverage. I, I Listen, I openly admit I'm not good at the game. I never played it competitively. I, I barely ever played it at all. You know, the last Smash I played only a few times. I didn't really like it. Uh, the Smash before that, Brawl, I actually did enjoy. And that was before I was ever a YouTuber. You know, I played it kind of offline for a while. But this is the first time that I'm really focusing in on the game and giving it a shot. Trying to learn it. I'm not saying I'm going to, but I am at least trying, okay? So I hope you guys have appreciated that and enjoyed that. And uh, I hope you're looking forward. To more coverage, all right? <clears throat> all right, so... um, Yeah, that's it, guys. So I guess what we'll do, let's do some quick plugs, all right? And actually, I, I still... Uh, I feel like there was something I wanted to address, something I needed to talk about before we started. And now, for the life of me, I can't remember what the hell it is. I really can't. Fudge. I hate when that happens. When I had something, in, like, I knew that it was something I wanted to talk about quickly. It wasn't, by the way, it was nothing negative at all. I think it was something positive. Um, and now for the life of me, I can't remember what the hell it is. <laughs> I hate when that happens. You get a brain fart, or you get so into so much other stuff that you forget this thing you wanted to talk about. <sighs> oh, well, I guess, I, guess that, <laughs> I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. My brain is a shambles. Oh, well. All right, um... I think we shall get to the plugs, and then we're going to do shout-outs for those who have contributed, and then we're going to get started. Sound good? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for 10 awesome years. As a content creator that's been doing this for over a decade, I very much appreciate all of your support over the last 10-plus years, um, especially this holiday season, those of you who come by to hang out with me. A lot of people I've seen coming by recently saying, wow, I haven't seen you, you know... In a long time. And it's cool to come by and hang out with you now. You know? That's awesome. Thanks for that. A lot of people getting a nostalgic feeling as I'm playing Smash Ultimate because I'm enjoying the game a lot. Even though I am raging at some of the unfair stages and the online play, people were like, wow, this feels like old school Phil again, covering a game in depth when a game comes out, right? And I agree with you. I've been actually getting that very positive vibe. Um, you know, playing Smash Ultimate the last few days. So thanks for that, guys. Okay? Anyway, to get back to the point... Um, if you would like to support my ongoing efforts to keep putting out such awesome daily content, all these daily live streams, the daily videos on YouTube, which have increased in length recently, and people have been amazingly positive about that change, everything you guys love, all right? There are many ways you can support it. Number one, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, where your monthly pledges 
uh, earn you personal perk rewards, all right? Your support is so appreciated that I go out of my way to do some cool perks for you. You can get things such as text or verbal uh, th thank yous in my videos and streams. You can get uh, your questions answered on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, which is happening next month in, in uh, January. You could get a private Q&A video made where I just answer your questions for 20 plus minutes for yourself. Or if you do the $5 pledge level, $5 or more, all right, to my play Patreon a month, you can nominate things that will be featured in ongoing events. So, for example, this month, if you pledge $5 or more, you'll be nominating your favorite moments from my last 10 years of content creation for me to consider for next month's special retrospective event. That we will do if we hit the sub goal this month, which we are, by the way, very close to hitting. I'll mention that in a moment. Um, yeah, special retrospective event where basically I look back and react and do behind-the-scenes style commentary on the stuff that I've put out over the past 10 years that's your favorite, okay? I did a stream like this in September. People told me it was one of the best things I did all year, and they wanted to see another one. So that's going to be coming up in January. Pledge five bucks or more to my Patreon to be a part of that event, okay? So thanks, everyone, for your support. All right, I do appreciate any of your support uh, in any way, but Patreon in particular is a cool thing to do this month if you want to be a part of that event next month, all right? All right, moving on. I have a Teespring store where I sell merchandise, T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, stickers, mugs, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, great quality stuff, I can attest. I've owned some of it for over a year and a half now, and nothing's ever worn out. Uh, if you buy anything from the store, it helps me out, but just a forewarning to all of you, you need to order right away if you want to get something in time for Christmas. I mean, we're only about two weeks away from Christmas at this point. By the way, Twitch just told me, and not Twitch, excuse me, Teespring just told me they are now offering expedited shipping. So not only can you pay a little bit extra to get your order processed quickly, but also they'll ship it more quickly as well. Of course, all this costs more. So just a forewarning, it's going to be pretty pricey, but you can still pay a ton if you want to get it quickly for Christmas. All right, give it a look. Teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming. Thanks to anyone who buys anything from there. Much appreciated. But of course, if you guys are here live on the stream, the bottom line is you're here to have fun, to chill with me, to enjoy Smash, right? And if that is the case, I thank you wholeheartedly for being here, and I want to say welcome. If you would like to contribute during today's stream and get a shout-out, you may. If you either cheer with bits, subscribe to the channel, or tip me during today's stream, you will get a verbal shout-out during today's stream, all right? Now, I ask that you abide by certain rules and criteria so that we abide by Twitch's terms of service, but also we keep the this, this, this stream a chill vibe. Number one, no insults. Number two, no referencing negative detractor memes, no referencing people that are doing nasty stuff on outside of the stream to me or others. I don't care about that stuff. This stream is about having fun with games. We don't need drama. We don't want little schoolyard crap here, you know, dragging us down. Also, we don't particularly allow div divisive topics such as politics or religion only because, um, sadly, people uh, don't really um, get along when they talk about those topics. You know what I mean? They t tend to get angry at each other. And I don't want that to happen on the stream either. In general, if we just are civil to each other, we, we have a chill vibe. You know, the bottom line is the reason you're here is to escape from reality. You're not here. Um, you're seriously not here to be bombarded with stuff from reality. You're here to escape reality and have fun with me, see my honest reactions to a stream, or a game, excuse me, and just hang out and have chill fun. You know what I mean? Um, we don't want to be bombarded by drama, by negativity, by nonsense, by all that crap. So as long as you're by by the basic rules, everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be a cool, okay? In general, the streams work out really well. All right. So. Let's see here. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, I got distracted by the stream chat. Now we're good. Alrighty. Um, continuing on. Um, if you would like to see a fun thank you animation play during today's stream, okay? Fun thank you animation. You can if you either cheer 100 bits or more in a single cheer, if you tip $5 or more in a single tip, or if you subscribe to the channel, wait a few minutes, and then click on the share button that should appear after you sub, okay? Sometimes it doesn't show up right away. But it should eventually show up. You'll see a fun thank you animation play on the stream in particular. Both the bits and the, the tipping animations this month are holiday themed. And they will be throughout the entire month of December. 
Okay. Pretty neat. Um, so if you want to get festive, you know, you can. And it's another way to get recognition for your contributions. Now, at the top of your screen, you guys see the Stream Stats leaderboard. As you can see, we're only 19 subs away from hitting this monthly goal where we're going to do the retrospective event in January. I certainly hope we hit it. We're very close, and now would be a great time today to subscribe because keep in mind, tomorrow I'm off, and undoubtedly when I take a day off, the subs drop. So now would be a great day to subscribe and try to get in and hit that goal, all right? When you subscribe, you get many benefits, including access to all of my fun emotes, not having to watch advertisements when I take ad breaks, and of course... Getting a cool chat crown loyalty badge, right? All that fun stuff. It's all good stuff, right? All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, I guess what I would say is if you want to get up there on the leaderboard, if you want to, if you are a current top cheerer or top tipper, you will make it up there on the leaderboard for extra recognition. Okay, very nice. Um, and. This is the last day of the week if you want to get up on the cheering leaderboard that's built into the stream chat. It's the last day of the week to cheer and get up on that leaderboard because it resets overnight. It does. On Monday, that leaderboard resets. So it means when I come back on Tuesday, it'll all be at zero again. Okay? So last opportunity, especially if you're in the rankings, you want to move up in the rankings today with cheers or whatever, you can do that. But you have to do it on today's streams. All right? Last but certainly not least, everyone... With all the stuff I just mentioned, you may say, gee, I wonder, what's the best way to support Phil? Because now he's mentioned Patreon and Teespring and cheering and subbing and tipping and all this. What is going on? What's the best way to support him? Right now, the absolute best way you guys can support me is through tipping me. The reason being, right now, all my bills have come due. My bank account is almost empty, and I don't get paid by Twitch until the middle of the month. So I've got another week or so to wait before... I get paid, and that means that, sadly, my bank account may deplete and be emptied. For the last two months, it did. It overdrew, and it killed me with all these fees. Um, by tipping me, any tips you give me, go straight to the bank account and cover this stuff. I hope this month I can make enough of your tips to cover it and not overdraw. Ugh, it would be nice, because I haven't been able to do that the last two months, okay? Um, how do you tip? If you look below the stream, there's a button that says Tip Jar. You click on that to go to my tips page, or if you type exclamation point tip into the stream chat, it'll bring up a link. That'll also bring you to the tips page. Tips are most appreciated, everyone. Thank you very much to everyone who contributes in any method. But right now, tips help me the most. All right. All right, guys. That is it. Let's go ahead and do some shout-outs, okay? And uh, let's see here. All right, yes. Let's go ahead and do some shout-outs. So, first of all, overnight we had a couple people who contributed. Hold on one second because it didn't load on my laptop. I have to reload everything here. Sometimes this happens with my laptop. It doesn't load properly overnight. Uh, let's see here. Okay, here we go. So Golden Colts uh, did a couple of cheers overnight. Um, thank you very much, Golden Colts, for the cheers. Hickety is warning me that Third Eye the Third has been doing nasty stuff. Oh, I'm well aware he's banned, and he's permanently banned. He's gone. Like, we kind of knew when he made that Christmas overlay with 100 fucking detractor memes in it that he was a, a detractor like he was just trying to be a dick and sneak that stuff onto the stream we caught him before he had a chance to do any of it okay then of course he's like oh it's just a coincidence i'm like dude there's no way there's four fucking detractor memes in the fucking overlay you idiot of course it's not a fucking coincidence and he's like oh no it isn't oh, it's a coincidence <laughs> so in the spirit of the holiday season i let the guy back for about two days and within two days he did so much negative shit around about me uh, not here on the streams, of course, but everywhere else on the internet. And, of course, everyone told me, because the guy's a fucking idiot, and he didn't think that people would be paying attention to what he's doing, that he's been permanently banned for a while. He's not coming back. So, no worries. That guy is done. Another stain on our streams that will never come back, and we don't have to deal with this stupid shit ever again. So, good riddance to bad rubbish, as they say. Okay. Um. Shout out to... Uh, well, someone give me an anonymous tip. All right. And they said, for future references, a training mode under the Game & War menu in Smash that you can set to the online play to do matchmaking in the background. That way, in between matches, you can mess around in training mode. Well, the thing is, the game has... its not I guess it's not necessarily training full-on training mode, but it puts you into that little arena where you can mess around a little bit before a match. Typically, though, I haven't really waited around for matches that much in Smash Ultimate. Like, the matchmaking seems to be good... The problem is in with Smash Ultimate is, in general, the connections are not very good. 
So you get your you get the matches quickly, but then when the match connects and you play, half the time it's really laggy. Um, <laughs> so that seems to be the ongoing problem. Okay. Uh, so all that saying, um, all that being said, excuse me. Um, thanks for the suggestion. As is, I don't think it would really do much for me because it's so little time between matches when you're trying to get the online matches in Smash. I doubt that going into the formal training mode would even be a difference for me. You see what I mean? Like, I'm just going to be constantly jumping into matches anyway. Um, so I don't think it's going to help or anything, but thank you for the suggestion. Okay, so now moving on to people who contributed during today's stream. We got Cookie Monster, who has reset for the fourth month in a row. This has been a fan for a long time now. I remember finding you on YouTube at 13. I'm now 23 years old, so keep doing what you're doing and stay positive. I know it's hard with the recent bad news you have, but keep up with the Christmas spirit, and I know things will turn around. Hey, that's what I'm trying to do, all right? The other day, I had an epiphany. I said, I got to be positive. I can't focus in on negative shit. I cannot be negative on Twitter or anywhere. Like, I need to be positive and just focus in on fun content creation and doing fun streams for you guys, that's what I need to do, right? That's what's going to get me through all this crap. Not being negative and jealous and toxic towards people. That's nasty. Especially this time of year. It's the Christmas season. It's not the time for that crap. You know what I mean? So I kind of had that epiphany and I turned things around. I think people are liking it. So there you go. Thank you for the resub. Rick Grimes Dimes took me a dollar. Says, are you aware the PC version of Final Fantasy IV is the 3D remake and not the original? Yes, I am. It's the remake that was made for Nintendo 3DS, only they remastered it again with improved visuals for the PC. And I believe there's a few things they changed. Like, I believe it, Rydia had a... In, in a certain version, she had uh, the Mist Dragon as an, a pet, and you could learn abilities and shit, and I think they changed it in this version or something like that. I'm not 100%, but... Basically, the game at its core will be Final Fantasy IV with a few major a few major tweaks. It has voice acting and stuff. It's going to basically be a modernized version of the game that I grew up with and love. So it's going to be a great playthrough. All right, he says. Also, do you have any plans on playing Final Fantasy IX or Lost Odyssey? Eventually, sure. Uh, I've always said that Lost Odyssey is another one of those games that's kind of on my gaming bucket list. I played it right before I had started doing YouTube videos, and I loved it. But that game is a humongous grind. Like, there's, there's set parts in Lost Odyssey. You just have to stand and grind for, like, three hours to beat the next boss. It's that tough. Um, so, as an ongoing chill playthrough, sure. As something I can do as a main game, absolutely not. I mean, take a look at Dragon Quest XI. That's a game that was really fun to play. But even as a new release, after a few weeks, didn't get much attention. But thankfully, we did have a hardcore group of RPG fans like me who tuned in. When I did play it over the course of three months, and after 80 hours, I just finished up that playthrough, and it was a lot of fun. Um, so maybe I can make Lost Odyssey work. Final Fantasy IX, I've never played, so I don't really know much about it. A lot of people have praised it and said it's a really good game. So would I consider playing it? Absolutely. Um, when? It's not going to be anytime soon, because guys, after I'm playing Final Fantasy IV shortly, and then we got Kingdom Hearts 3, right? Kingdom Hearts 3 in late January. So, we got a lot of stuff coming up, okay? Uh, Grauta did a 100-bit cheer, something about chasing cats around in the kitchen. No one has any idea what you're talking about, but thank you for the cheer. Dark Viking 159 has reset for the 17th month in a row. And says, Phil, you're going to play Danganronpa 3 when you have downtime and stuff. I would love to see you play. At this point, Danganronpa 3 probably isn't going to happen for a very long time. And the reason I say that, we've got Kingdom Hearts coming out in late January. Um, eventually, we don't know when yet, but the Phoenix Wright Remastered Collection is coming out, and when that comes out, I owe people a playthrough of, I think it's, is it Trials and Tribulations, or Justice for, whatever the next Phoenix Wright game is that I did not play, uh, I owe a playthrough of. We know how long Phoenix Wright games are, they're insanely long, so, that being said, you know, that's another super long playthrough that has to happen. Um, I not, I, basically, Danganronpa 3 is not on my radar right now. Do I want to eventually play it? Sure. But it's just not on my radar, and it's gonna be a long, drawn-out playthrough, and right now I'm not interested in it, so. Hardy Buck cheered, he says, can we please have a nice, relaxed, chill day with no mention of taxes throughout the day? I appreciate it. Uh, I didn't mention my taxes, you just did. <laughs> I didn't mention them, you did. Uh, I'm gonna move forward just playing games and having fun, Okay. Young Guap Fresh has resubbed for the seventh month in a row. Thank you, Young Guap Fresh. Then Hardy Buck cheered again. 
<clears throat> he said, are we going to see a DSP tries it on the Christmas dinner with you sampling the turkey? And have you seen Captain Marvel and Avengers 4 trailers? Uh, I'm not having turkey at Christmas. I think turkey at Christmas is kind of overrated because everyone has turkey for Thanksgiving now. So why do you want turkey at Thanksgiving and then again turkey at Christmas? That's too much in my opinion. So more than likely, I'm going to have maybe a, a ham of some sort. I don't know. We haven't even figured it out yet. You know, we're crazy busy here. And the you know, last thing we're thinking of is Christmas dinner at this point. But uh, no, no DSP tries at Christmas dinner. But there will be a special holiday-themed edition of DSP tries it that will premiere during my holiday gaming marathon. Haha. -ha. Okay, also, um, have I seen the Captain Marvel and Avengers 4 trailers? No, I've seen scenes of them on Twitter, but I have not watched the full trailers. Uh, GSP tipped me $20. Thank you very much to GSP. That is the top tip of the day. Let's go ahead and get GSP up on the leaderboard. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, by the way, I forgot, to, I forgot to update top tip, or top cheer, excuse me. Hold on a second. So, so far, I just want to look. I guess Gau... Gau Gauta? Gauta? What? I don't know how the fuck you say that name. More than likely, it's probably a detractor trying to say gout. You know what I mean? It's probably so a detractor trying to say gout. I'm not... I wouldn't be surprised if it were. Um, But they were the top cheerer. But now it looks like High Tech Specs is going to be the top cheerer. 100 bits and says, I've been a long time since I've been able to watch a stream. Glad to hear you're enjoying Smash. I am too. All right, High Tech Specs. Number one, yes, I am enjoying Smash quite a lot. Uh, what I like about it is much like um, Brawl, okay, which was the one on Wii, this game has a ton of fun offline content. You know, the adventure mode, I really am. Even though it's frustrating, don't get me wrong, I am enjoying the adventure mode a ton. I love seeing all the characters from the various franchises come in as spirits and assist trophies. And I love the big open world map and unlocking the characters and the boss fights. Everything about Adventure Mode is exactly what I was looking for, for a, a single player style mode for this game. And I really like it to the point where, you know, I'm playing it every day, right? Um, plus, you know, Smash has a ton of characters, online play and everything. It's like the best of all worlds when you look for a Smash game. They really did the right thing with this one, in my opinion, okay? <clears throat> Alright, so moving on. Eternal Napalm also did a 100-bit cheer. He says, have you had a chance to check out the new sci-fi RPG from City in the Outer Worlds? Looks great. A blend of Fallout New Vegas and Borderlands. Uh, I heard about it. I saw pictures of it. I didn't see anything of it. Um, but I understand it's coming out. And we all like Obsidian. You know, Obsidian, as we've said, made uh, Fallout New Vegas. Um, among other, you know, good games. So, as long as they are in the same vein of making great games. And by the way, Obsidian is now owned by Microsoft. If you guys don't really realize that. Um... It should be good. You know, I hope it turns out well. I'm looking forward to it next year, okay? If it does come out next year, I hope it comes out next year. I guess we weren't, we're not guaranteed that, right? Okay, so shout out to Virgota69. Oh, boy, here we go again. Tip me $5 and so Phil can't tip much. Hope it helps. Virguita might tip later as well. All right, well, thank you very much for the tips so far. Appreciate that. Sean also tipped me five dollars. Said Phil, I love your content, man. It's my first time actually catching a live stream of yours. I'm stressing out with finals at my university right now, but your vids keep me motivated. So thanks a lot. In fact, uh, Sean, first of all, thank you for the contribution. Um, you are not the first person. In fact, you're one of many people who've contacted me recently, saying that they are super stressed out with exams right now. It's basically the final, you know, winter exams. Um. You know, the final winter exams that, uh, you know, you have to finish up before winter break. And a lot of people apparently are really, really frustrated at this because they're saying that the winter exams are just destroying them right now. In fact, some of my moderators are in that same boat, okay? So I wish all of you, any of you who are studying, whether it's high school, uh, you know, university, whatever it may be, I wish you luck. I used to be in the same boat as you. I know what it's like, the cr that crunch, that grind. Uh, hopefully you all do well so that you can come and actually relax. You know what I mean? You come back and have a nice break from school and actually relax. And, you know, I'll be here streaming, having fun. If you guys want to come hang out with me during that time, that's cool too. All right? So thank you for your support, Sean. I appreciate that. Um, all right, Lav just did a 500-bit cheer. That's going to put Lav into the top cheering spot for the day. So I'm going to get him up there. And he has a big message that apparently may help me and all of you if you are playing Smash on the Switch. Hold on a second here. So he says, apparently there's a tip 
to make the performance better, the online gameplay performance. Um, let's see here. He says you can improve your internet connection in the system settings. There's a bunch of technical stuff here about the settings. All right, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what he recommends here. I ne don't necessarily want to read this out because I don't want people to do it, and then it fucks everything up. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> let's see here. I don't know if this will do anything. I don't. Nah, this isn't working for me. Hmm. Let me see. All right, well, I just changed some settings. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, We'll try it. If it works, great. Tonight, if not, I can always go back and change it back to what it was. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I did. It was a, it was a connection adjustment until I know if it works. The last thing I want to do is tell hundreds of people on my stream, "Oh yeah, do this," and everyone does it, and then it fucks everything up for everybody. Okay. Thank you, Lav. You know, hopefully this works, and I appreciate the, the cheer. Thank you. Uh, Hickany just cheered. Is there any way you could plead to the authorities? No, I'm, Hickany. I'm not gonna talk about this. I'm not gonna talk about. It. We already said. We're not talking about this on the stream. So thanks for the cheer, but we're not going to derail the stream with that crap. All right. <clears throat> well, Hawaiian Punch is back and saying he was unfairly banned in the stream chat. But he loves the stream and he took the day off to chill and watch my stream and play Smash and order some pizza. I have no idea who you are or why you were banned. Um, But, you know, if that is the issue, you should talk with the mods about it or you should contact me via email so I can look into it. There's absolutely no way I can check anything out during a live stream and let you know what's going on. I don't even know who you are, so <laughs> it's hard for me to say either way what's going on. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Um. Alright, so. Let's take a look at subcamp. We have gone down. Sadly, we have gone down, okay? Um, to 529, that sucks. Like I said, guys, today would be the day if we're going to make a big push to hit the sub goal. Today is the day. The reason being, I'm off tomorrow. And by the time I come back on Tuesday, chances are we will have lost a lot more subs. That's what happens when I don't stream. So if we're going to hit the subs goal, I ask today, guys, if you want to subscribe, today would be the day to do it. Only 21 more people needed to hit the sub goal for the month. And ensure that we do that retrospective event in January. Okay? Uh, so special shout out to Lav with the top cheer. And also to GSP with that very generous tip of $20. Well, the last thing I want to do. Okay. Is. Oh. Hold on. Well. Alberg. Just did a 510 bit cheer. Said tipping on behalf of Vergrita69. Well. That is a cheer not a tip. But I do appreciate it regardless. Let's get you up. You're the top cheerer. Thank you very much, Albert. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, what I want to do now is just read out the top 10 cheerers of the week. Because this is basically the last opportunity. Um, the last opportunity. For you to... Uh, hold on a second. The last opportunity for these people to get credit because it's going to re uh, reset. Um, overnight, like I told you guys, okay? So in 10th place this week, we've got The Legend DSP in 9th place, Xbox Gamer DSP Gaming. In 8th place, Dark Spadilio. In 7th place, Straight Cash Homie. 6th place, Freddy Ballsy. 5th place, RFHC5. In 4th place, Infinite 55. In 3rd place, Golden Colts. In 2nd place, Geekrum. And in 1st place, Grazy Dream. Thanks all of you for your very supportive support. <laughs> your very supportive support 
There's nothing I hate worse than non-supportive support, let me tell you guys. It's always the supportive support that I appreciate here. Boy, I'm stupid. Okay. Um, and it looks like Lav did another 100-bit cheer to explain that about the, uh, the network settings. He just told me to mess around with on my Switch here. All right, so we're gonna—I'm gonna try that tonight with the multiplayer. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it's any better. Okay, it's time to end the pre-stream, guys, and then we're gonna begin, like I said, with adventure mode. Will I be playing new characters? Yes, right from the get-go. I'm gonna pick a new character who I unlocked yesterday to play with today, um, and continue on, keep adventuring and unlocking and getting new stuff and continuing on. Sound good? All right, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, let's begin. 